fact, it's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. It is always exciting to see the very best the NFL has to offer all in one place. And we have that here this afternoon as we welcome you to Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. Get ready to settle in for an entertaining four quarters. The AFC-NFC Pro Bowl underway from Las Vegas. Taken in the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so...
Probably should have opted for the touchback. AFC takes over first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. This one complete to Nicole Hardman. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That's good. 23 yards, the final tally. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful of one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Jackson on first down. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Complete to Travis. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. A first carry now for Nick Chubb. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Good. Four yards the pickup, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. And now he'll tuck it in run. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. He's brought down. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Second and a yard. Jackson. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. pick up yardage but in this case the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp they go with Chubb on second down and he's going to push his way down to about the 12 Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. Jackson. And that is caught for an AFC touchdown. Well, Travis Kelsey there to make the grab. And the AFC takes it all the way down the field to score on their opening drive. 
So the AFC, they won the Pro Bowl the last couple of seasons and off to another good start here. Yeah, how about that? The first touchdown of this game, how many more do we expect to see? Hopefully a lot. I want offense in this ball game. I don't think there's any question about it. Rarely do you get defensive struggles in the Pro Bowl. Extra point, hung the upright a bit, but he gets it to go. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. second down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's a carry for Saquon Barkley and the Giants. They'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one covers 29 yards, first down. Once he broke through that first wave of defenders, there was a pretty big gap there for him to run. And it helps that they were in a dime defense. That's six defensive backs. So this is why a lot of teams now are searching for those linebacker safety combo type guys who can add a little bit more size on the defensive side of the ball but can still run as well because when you run against six DBs with some bigger offensive linemen, you often get this result. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now the first carry for Dalvin Cook. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. It's now third and four. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. They're looking for Kittle, but it's intercepted. start defensively your offense goes out gets the touchdown and then you get the interception just perfect how about the discipline that they showed on defense because after the offense scored to go up seven zip you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them instead they read their keys well when they took the shot downfield they were more than prepared for that one here's jackson to throw through the contact, brings up second down. Well, so much for getting separation. No chance there. Locked down tight, forcing the incompletion on that attempt. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. to throw again. Jackson to the right side. It's Kelsey. Five yards. Now it's third and five. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? And it's scooped up by the NFC. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will take this back. A fumble return for an NFC touchdown. 
Even the great ones, some of the best, they're not immune to the fumble, and here it really hurts them. If the ball gets away from any runner's body, that's when the defense pokes at it, swipes at it, swats at it, and finds a way to create a big play for themselves. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. Taken about seven yards deep. Probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. At their own 16-yard line. The offense for the AFC set to go now. Six there on first. That next teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Going deep downfield for Ross. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Jackson on first down. And that is caught for an AFC touchdown. Travis Kelsey with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the AFC has taken the lead. That was a beautiful ball right there as he waited for his tight end to come uncovered in the end zone to give him points for patience as well. Delivered it right where it needed to be for six points. McManus' point after is good. And that makes the score 14-7. to After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And this will make it into the end zone. And he's going to be taken down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. Our home team, seven. The offense for the NFC ready to get their next drive started. And the interception last time on the opponent's side of the field, certainly not what they want. That is so frustrating because that signifies there's a drive going on. You're in a good spot. Great place to run some of your best offense. Instead, they turn the ball over. Yeah, turn the ball over last time. See if they can avoid doing it here. scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Now Saquon Barkley. They'll get only a couple down to the 44. Saquon Barkley. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly and that was because the defensive front they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. run got a couple here second and eight uh, give to cook out of the gun it's a gain of six moves him to a manageable third and two situation 
Tackle made at the 38-yard line. That's a gain of sale run. Here's Cook. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10, and mark him at the five. A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. They'll run with Cook. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. No gain on the play. Leads to second and goal. At the five. On second down. It's Cook. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. Third and goal. They'll run for it with Cook. And Cook was fighting for it, but I don't think he got there. No gain on the play. And what to do now on fourth and goal? No gain on the play. Brings up fourth and goal. Running for it. Here's Cook. And not only will he not get in, he's going to lose yardage. They stuff him back at the four. Cook turned away on fourth and goal. And this stout AFC defense able to come away with a goal line stand. Now the NFC going to call the first of their three timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Stepping up, he'll try and run. And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight yard line. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. A gain of five brings up second and five at the eight yard line. From the gun, it's Jackson. Got an open man, it's Rose. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. First and 10 at the 25-yard line. Jackson from the shotgun. He'll let this go deep for Ruggs. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So they saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers, and somehow, some way, they make plays on the football, and sometimes you're there too soon. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. And that is caught for an AFC touchdown. John Ross, 26 yards. And the AFC is able to widen their advantage. Lining up for the extra point. Touchdowns on their first three possessions, and they're a PAT from going up 21 to 7. Yeah, very impressive the way that they've moved the football. Full command of their playbook, full command of the way they wanted to attack. Extra point from McManus is good. And it's now 21 to 7. This taken in about four yards deep. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now a shotgun snap as they look to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. The numbers for the NFC on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and 11. Look at this spin. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. 
And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. Coming into the week, he's the NFL's leader in receiving yards. There's his first catch, and it's good for a first down. Shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. He was two minutes remaining in this first half of football. It's second and eight. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Here's a play fake as they set up the throw. He's going to let this one go deep. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Second time he's picked off a pass here in the first half alone. Again, another great read defensively. And you just see him get in the right position to make the play and get his guys the football back. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Interception. Here's Jackson. They'll roll him out right. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked by Jeff Gladney. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. Well, he went on the move there and started rolling out. I thought there was a window, but that window closed quickly. Intercepted. And sometimes, despite how big your arm talent is, you don't get enough on a throw when you're on the move as opposed to setting your feet and stepping into one. That may have been the case there, and the defense certainly benefited. shake off the interception he'll look to throw and he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete he was trying to find Justin Jefferson there but it's going to be second down from the snap he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball but surprise that guy was covered so that took his attention elsewhere to no avail second and 10 from the 33 yard line a give to Barkley out of the gun and he'll get this up only to about the 33. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. But well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Throw in deep for Galladay. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And he will take it across midfield and down to the 45. Second. Great drive now here, Charles, and have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one, or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? Shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. Jackson's pass. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. It's second and inches at the NFC's 35-yard line. Four. 
Play action. It's Jackson. It's inside the 10. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Seven yard line. Jackson going to throw quickly here, complete. And he will score. Touchdown, AFC. A seven yard touchdown grab. And the AFC adds on to their lead. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league, so they decided to try their best to get one more as they headed into the half, and they got it done. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. begin their next drive here the NFC offense and with time quickly fading here in the second quarter not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot and he's got this almost to the 40 before going out opted to run for it the decision a good one picking up the first getting 14 yards on the scramble 39 yard line So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. A first throw for the backup, Wilson. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. Now the NFC going to take a timeout their second as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves them with a very manageable second and one. From the shotgun, Wilson. And the pressure gets home, and the AFC comes up with a sack. Now a signal and a timeout call. As it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. Third down. Third and 15. The defense going to blanket the field. Six now in the secondary here for third and 15. Out of the gun. Here's Wilson. Comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Intended for Preston Williams. Incomplete. Sets up fourth down. They failed once in this spot earlier, but the offense will stay out to go for it on fourth down. Throwing is Wilson. They're going for Jefferson downfield. It is incomplete. So we have the halftime of the Pro Bowl with the AFC leading the NFC. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, it's the NFC to possess it first as we are back and underway for the third quarter. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked out officially at the 21. First and 10 at their own 21-yard line. The offense for the NFC ready to get their next drive started. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of the And now this is intercepted by Gomez. That one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. And you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. That one, 28 yards on the ground. Yard 
So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. From the gun, Jackson. Forced out to his left. Hit as he throws there, incomplete. They well, certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Throwing on second and long, Jackson, and he's got the hook up to runs. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Henry Ruggs. A gain of eight. Brings it on third down. A nickel formation here defensively. From the gun, Jackson. And a throw there going to be incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still... With his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. 13-yard line. Ready to begin their next drive here, the NFC offense. And last time, was it pretty? One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Get the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. Buying time to his left. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. 23 yards on the play. We know he has pretty good hands on display there. In fact, he only needed one of them. Yeah, nowadays, all these receivers work on this, right? They do the one-handed catches off the machine in practice. They do it with their quarterbacks. They do it contested, uncontested. They make it part of their repertoire. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Wilson. And his pass incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. And that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat. And if he flushes out, they're fine with that. And they force another incompletion. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Throwing again. Wilson. He's going to loft one deep left side here. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. Well, he's able to get this way down deep into enemy territory. Goal at the five-yard line. Again, Wilson. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. On second down, Cook. And now a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. He was with the ball mere inches from the white line on third and goal. Brings up third and goal. Now Wilson. And that's going to be caught. Touchdown, NFC. Justin Jefferson there to make 
take the grab. And the NFC able to get a bit closer. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard and you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taken about seven yards deep. Bad decision to bring it ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Takes over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The AFC offense set to take their next drive. Their lead down from 21 to 14, but still sitting in a great spot. Up two scores here in the third quarter. the opposite 40. second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Throwing on second and long. Jackson, complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. And nine. Operating from the gun, Jackson. It's complete to Kelsey. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. First down Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, Jackson. And that's caught inside the 35. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. That one goes for 30 yards. It's worth noting when you talk about Jackson's running ability, the Baltimore wide receivers had just over 1,400 receiving yards combined last year. And Charles, that was the fewest yards by a wide receiver group in the NFL since 2011. And partner, I expect that number to go up this year. Last season, Lamar Jackson got very comfortable with his tight end group. In fact, he had one tight end and went to the Pro Bowl. But I think now, because of his ability to run the ball, it'll bring defenders closer to the line of scrimmage. And you'll see more big plays. Touchdown! Nicole Hardman, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the AFC is able to widen their advantage. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. McManus's point after is good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. 14. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And this carries into the end zone. And this will be a touchback. No return for Ayuk. At their own 25-yard line. The offense for the NFC ready to get their next drive started. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, 
You've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the passer. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Now this one has been fun so far as the Pro Bowl usually is. A lot of relaxed faces out there. Second and ten. He's going to air one out. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. And attempted a deep ball there, and they didn't get it. But, boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent-sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. They're going for Jefferson downfield. And that will be incomplete. They weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. They'll indeed go for it with Wilson. And a big loss here as he's taken down Von Miller. And my goodness, that means this next drive will begin four yards from the end zone already. Breaking the huddle first and goal as the return team has set him up with golden field position. They'll run with Chubb. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. A chance to really put this game out of reach. Here's third and goal. pitch we saw we don't witness a ton of that in the nfl but it worked there down near the goal line for a score and it's actually a great call in goal line situations because as more and more quarterbacks enter the league with that mobility and having run option in college more pro teams are adding it to their arsenal and now it's not just does the quarterback run it does he pitch it now they've added a third element he can rise up and throw the ball as well and a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully Ready to begin their next drive here, the NFC offense. And it's great to see the Stars all out in one place, but in terms of football, what's really great to see is a very entertaining Pro Bowl as we are tied in the fourth quarter. And how many of these guys thought going into this game, after a pretty easy week heading into it, that the pressure would ratchet up now and someone has to make a play, which means someone will have a play made against them and they'll have to live with that for the rest of the year. Now the AFC going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. On second down, here's Barkley. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you come up there thinking about it. That's not a guy they want to see consistently. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. No reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. 
First and 10 at the 46-yard line. On first and 10, it's Wilson. Oh, he'll look downfield for Kittle. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked up by Dinsley. And he will take this all the way out past the 40-yard line. In this is a situation where defensively, Brandon, you're going to be so excited. It's getting late. You've got the lead. No reason to not just pin your ears back and go. Bring the pressure. And here they hit him as he's releasing the football, and that's going to help lead to the interception. Play action now. Jackson. Reception here by Rose. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Give him 30 yards there. No let up in this passing game. They've been a well-oiled machine throughout. And actually saw a few guys on the sidelines at the end of the third quarter. Doing the old hold up four fingers college sign, meaning the fourth quarter is ours. And they certainly weren't kidding. Throwing now, Jackson on first down, looking for the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off with great anticipation. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. At their own 20-yard line. The offense for the NFC ready to get their next drive started. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley. They nearly get this all the way to midfield. Marking down at the 49. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Now Wilson on first down. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. And that's going to be caught. Touchdown, NFC. Justin Jefferson with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the NFC able to cut into that lead. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that in. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. The AFC takes over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The offense for the AFC set to go now. Certainly no reason to panic. They've got the three-score lead, but the turnover last time, the interception that led to a touchdown, you'd have to think that you might not be dialing that up again. Yeah, probably not. They're still in fantastic shape, though, so I would imagine before we tried it out here for this series, head coach probably just leaned over to him and was like, listen, we're wearing these color shirts. Throw it to those guys, not the others. Try to make a joke out of it and just let him go out there with a little bit more confidence. A run for Nick Chubb. He's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Well, I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage. The stop troops, the defensive guys, they've got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball on offense without timeouts than to stop them on defense without using them. That catch good for only a couple. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. They'll try and wind down some clock with Chubb. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, 
But they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On third down, Jackson. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit. Even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And the NFC will take over first and 10. Ready to begin their next drive here, the NFC offense. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. The end result, 21 yards. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. From the gun, it's Wilson. here as he's taken down. Von Miller able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. Second down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's the NFC with the football as we welcome you back. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Complete Jefferson to target, and he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like a spot right at midfield at the 50. An incredible play there. They do get big yardage, but they're still stopping. Too short. It's fourth down. Shaquille Griffin knocking it away that time in coverage. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. From midfield now, here's Jackson. And that is incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Johnson on the cover. They toss it left side to Chubb. They'll get only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because... They're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score. But they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. And that is caught for an AFC touchdown. John Ross, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the AFC is able to widen their advantage. Well, there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking into the end zone. And you know they could have taken a knee there. But they decided to play this one all the way out, and I think their philosophy is we're going to give you everything we've got. If we just go ahead and take a knee now, we're actually showing you disrespect that way, like taking pity on you. They're not about to do that to their opponent. And no return on this one. It's a fair catch. A signal four and take it. The NFC takes over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The offense for the NFC ready to get their next drive started. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waiting moments of this one. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And down right around the 37. 18 more yards there and another first down. This one in the hands of Kittle, the tight end. Give him nine there on the first down completion. 
completion. Eight of nine. Bring to throw again on second down. Wilson, he's going to take a shot for the end zone. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. He was trying to find Justin Jefferson there. And it's third and short. One last shot for Wilson. And Wilson's going to be intercepted at the end zone. So, Charles, final thoughts on this AFC victory. Bottom line, nobody appeared to be seriously hurt. That's the first thing we look for in this game. Well played, a lot of fun, a lot of excitement. I think that everyone's going to go home pretty happy, especially the AFC since they won the game. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.